recently did a tutorial for the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. I showed you how to fully install the new exposed framework for Oreo. Now that method will actually fully install the framework on your device by modifying system files. And in doing so, that means that your device will no longer pass safety net checks. So if you rely on things like Android Pay, this is definitely not something that you will be um, happy to use. So today I want to show you how to install Systemless Exposed on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. So we're going to start this by launching Magisk. This needs to be done through Magisk because it is a Magisk module. I'm going to tap the hamburger menu at the top left. Tap on Downloads. And then we just need to scroll all the way down until we get to the exposed framework. You can see that these are all systemless. And they are all labeled with an SDK version. So SDK 27 will be Android 8.1. SDK version 26 will be Android 8.0. And so on and so forth. Since we are on Android 8.1 right now on the Pixel 2 XL, we're going to tap on that download icon right there. Tap on install. And we're just going to wait for Magisk to install that module. Once that's done, we can go ahead and tap on the reboot button. And we're just going to wait till the Pixel 2 boots back up. You can see this first boot will be a little bit longer than normal, but it's nothing that's going to take too long. So now we are back into Android. We're going to actually open up Magisk again. We're going to tap that hamburger menu icon again. We're going to go back into downloads. And then we're going to tap on that systemless exposed that we just downloaded. We need to do this because this will link us to a specific modified exposed installer APK that we need. And then whenever we open that exposed installer, we're going to see that it is installed, but it is not active. So we're just going to go back into Magisk. We're going to go into the module section. And even though that check mark is there, we're going to uncheck it and then check it again. and then restart the device one more time. I'm not sure why these extra steps are needed for this specific module, but it's a very simple workaround fix to get everything working.
I'm just going to unlock the device again. Go into our application drawer. Launch the exposed installer application again. And now we have a green check mark to show that exposed systemless has been installed.